video is going to be a ranking video, uh, ranking all of the products that I've tried in December. So let's get started. There's 15 products here. So let's start with number 15. So at number 15, I don't think it's going to be that surprising if you saw my makeup haul video. Uh, a more Pacific's time response cream is in the number 15 spot for one reason and one reason only is because it is so ungodly expensive. Uh, this is a 0.5 ounce, but if you get the full size 1.7 ounce, you're paying $450 for this face cream. I don't care what is in this unless there is literal Botox in this. No cream is worth $450. So I don't exactly know what the ingredient is. I don't know what ingredient in here makes this cream so expensive. I will do a little bit of digging and I'll put the name of the product up here and then you'll find it in the description bar with like a description <laughs> of what that ingredient is and why this product is so expensive because this is tiny. Don't buy this. This is not worth $450. Like you'd have better results paying $200 every six months to a year to get Botox and seeing your skin over time you'd see better results with that than you would paying $450 every three months for this. You know what I'm saying? So just skip this. There's other things you can spend $450 on on your skin that you'd find better results than this. So at number 14 is, is this. It's from I Do Care. It's the Glow Easy Nourishing Vitamin C Lip Oil. This is not a bad product. None None of these products are bad products in a sense. They just, a couple of these are just, eh, like, mm. I would never spend my own money on it. Let's just say that. So this is a nourishing vitamin C lip oil. I would love this so much more and it would be so much higher up on my list if it wasn't tinted because this makes my lips look bright pink and I don't particularly like that. I don't like it. It's very stainy so I mean as much nourishing as nourishing as it is I don't like the staining property of it. Number 13 is the sun protector sunscreen from Maylove. This is a very strange formula. It's very tacky. Um, it is also very 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 white on the skin. I'm very pale and you can tell that there is white sunscreen on my face with this no matter how long you rub this in. So I I would prefer other formulas over this and there's better formulas out there that I prefer over this but if you were like a mineral sunscreen lover and you don't care about a white cast this is a good one it's SPF 30 so someone out there clearly likes it because it has good ratings. At number 12 is the Lord Jones Royal Oil. This has a thousand milligrams of CBD in it per jar. This is also very expensive. I'll leave the price of this oil up on the screen. Now this bottle is beautiful. I love this bottle, um, but I don't think this is worth the price tag. It's just an oil and it's a, I hate that I'm describing it this way, but it is a very oily oil. Like I like other oils over this. This is very oily. Like gets everywhere. It feels like it's dripping off your face oily. So yeah, and I don't know, I don't necessarily know how well CBD works topically. At number 11 is this cream, night cream. It is from I Do Care. It's the Power Plug Firming Bucciol Night Cream. I love the light scent of this. I also love the texture of it. It's a very like thick formula, but it really like melts down and it just feels nice on the skin. It's a really nice cream. It's nothing anything crazy or out there. It's nothing super expensive. So I do think this is a good option. This is just a sample size, but it's the anti-dandruff shampoo from First Aid Beauty. I don't know if this is still available. If it is, I'll let you know in the description. You'll see a link for it. Uh, this works really, really well. It also keeps my hair hydrated and my scalp loves this stuff. I don't know how to describe it more other than it works. At number nine is this hydrating mask. It's the Cake My Day mask from I Do Care. 
This is cute. It's a great sensorial experience. It has an amazing smell. It literally smells like cupcakes. Oh, it smells so good. And it is very, very hydrating. If you have extremely dehydrated or just very dry skin, I do think you'll benefit from a mask like that. At number eight is the I Do Care Peel Lit Exfoliating Vitamin C Treatment Pads. Um, I love vitamin C and I love exfoliating toner pads. So this is a great option to have. It's kind of leaking, which is annoying, and I'm just noticing that now, but it must be something that got on the lid. Like, it's leaking a lot. That's kind of agitating, so always store it upright. But I love pads, A, because they can be chemical exfoliants and physical exfoliants, but they're not super abrasive. At number seven is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base Primer. I talked about this in the makeup haul. This scent of this reminds me of my dad. My dad works on cars a lot. Um, so he always has like greasy hands. He's always working in his garage. So he has this pumice soap that smells like orange zest. And that's what this smells like. It smells exactly like my dad after he's done working in his garage on a weekend. <laughs> so it was not what I was expecting this to smell like. Like I wasn't expecting to have that memory scent linked to this product. So that was kind of strange, but it is a good product. It does work well. It's just kind of expensive. You know, that's personal preference. Are you willing to spend something like that? It does work well under makeup. It is very smoothing on the face. It does feel very, very nice, but yeah, it has a, it has a price tag. It's Bobbi Brown. At number six, is the Kaja Gloss Shots. I have the clear one and the milk tea one. I love them both. Um, it is a fairly basic gloss formula, but I do love the scents. Has a really nice scent, it smells like cupcakes. <laughs> and yeah, I just really like the formula. The doe foot is really nice too, if you can see what the doe foot looks like. So yeah, I love the formulas in both of the colors. I have the milk tea color, which is more of like a nudie pink shade. I have it in my, my purse, so I'm not going to go dig for it. All right, at number five is this face cream from Glow Recipe. It is the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. One thing I love about this stuff, it has no scent. At least I don't notice a scent. There might be like the slightest, slightest little scent, but I love the packaging because uh, when you buy a refill, you're not getting the whole jar. You're getting just the cup if that's what you want. Um, yeah, and so the jar, like let's say you don't like this product, you can reuse the actual glass jar um, instead of continually throwing out a glass jar container or a larger plastic container every time you use it. So it's kind of nice, like that, like the initiative. At number four are the Velour Lashes. I have a set on today. I have this set, Serendipity. Uh, they just sent me a PR package. I am on Velour Lashes PR list, so I'll leave their code down below if you're interested. I love these. Um, sometimes I just like feeling bougie. They have some really more natural and lighter styles, more wispier styles. This one is probably like more of their medium length, I'd say. It looks beautiful. It looks like something you could wear, you know, to a wedding. But then I also grabbed maybe some others that are like a little bit more PC and larger. Uh, I just love the styles that they offer and they're cruelty-free vegan lashes. So, I mean, you can't beat that. At number three <laughs> is the Kaja Love Beat Heart-Shaped Blending Sponge. I'm not going to open this one because I already have one here. And I love this. This is like, like I could see myself going between this and the Real Technique sponge. The Real Technique sponge is like my holy grail sponge. I'll pick these over a beauty blender any day, but I, A, they're adorable. Sorry, mine is so dirty. <laughs> but this is the cutest sponge I've ever seen and it is so squishy, like so squishy. It's perfect texture for my face, uh, I love it, I love it. So they had sent me another one, which is why I'm putting it in this video because I've already used it and I love it. 
but yeah. At number two, this is a repurchase, so you know I love this stuff. Um, the first one that was, the first one I had of this, it was sent to me. This one I bought myself with my own money. This is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Biotin Dry Shampoo. I have two shampoos that are high, or dry, two dry shampoos that are high end that are my top tier favorite of all time. The one is this one from Briogeo, and the other one is the dry shampoo, Perk Up Dry Shampoo from Amiga. This one, I, I think it's about $24 to buy this. Uh, I love this for one, for a huge reason is because it's not an aerosol container. Uh, you just shake it and then it's just like, you just squeeze it out and then brush it through. So you just like squeeze it out. I don't know if you can see that. And you're not using an aerosol can. So I really love that this is an aerosol free container. And at number one is this eyeshadow trio from Kaja. This is the eyeshadow trio in Rosewater. I just really love the shades and they're super, super sparkly. I don't know how well you can see how sparkly they are, but I did a look with them and I love it. It's so fun. I love anything sparkly. <laughs> this shouldn't be a surprise. I love sparkly things and this is like right up my alley. It's so beautiful. I love these colors. I love purpley mauves and I love shimmers. So that is why this is at number one. That's everything that's ranked. This is everything that I've tried in the month of December. <laughs> I genuinely enjoy all of them. There will some be some things once they're used up that I won't ever purchase again. And I'd say it would be these four things for sure. But other than that, this is a really good variety of items. And I really, really enjoyed all of them, to be honest. So thanks for watching. Stick around to see what January's haul will consist of in January's ranking video. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.